Hi guys, my name is Anastashkina and welcome to this week's tutorial. I want to start this series about talking uh, different ways how you can decorate the uh, cake using wafer paper. So this tutorial is going to be in two parts. First part today we are going to talk about making wafer paper ruffles. I'll show you how to attach them to your cake. And next week we are going to talk about making gold flowers to put on your cake. Let's begin. To start with my wafer paper ruffles, I'm going to use a simple sheet of wafer paper. This is regular wafer paper. This is 0.27 millimeters wafer paper by Saracina. But for this particular application, you can use any wafer paper you have, like from 0.22 to 0.35 millimeters. So uh, for this size of ruffles, as I have here, they are maybe two and a half centimeters, one inch thick. So the, uh, when my cake will be done, I will add two inches on each side. So keep this in mind if you want a specific design. So I know that my sheet of wafer paper is eight inches eight and a half so it's about 200 millimeters so something like this i'm going to cut this in half lengthwise and cut it in half again so i have my strip is about two inches or five centimeters wide and then i'm going to cut probably the same size squares so i want my ruffles to start with a square and I'm cutting roughly the same amount. It doesn't matter, you don't need to be exact because it just... The, the way we are going to use this will make the difference while we apply. So I will bring my cake here. I've tried different techniques placing this ruffles on a cake. And the easiest way is to place them while they are still pliable and soft. And to soften my ruffles, I'm going to use just a spray bottle with water. This is regular water. And I'm going to use piping gel. I prefer to stick wafer paper to fondant using piping gel because it's sticky enough and it's clear. You can use royal icing, you can use melted chocolate like white candy melts, you can use water, you can try using gum glue. For me, my preferred way is to use piping gel. So first I'm going to start with applying a small amount of piping gel on my cake. If you're working on a, a fresh cake, like freshly covered in fondant cake, it's going to be even easier for you. So I'm covering a small area with piping gel. And then I'm going to take a few squares. If you never worked with wafer paper, wafer paper usually has two sides. So this is a bumpy side and the other side called smooth side. And you can tell the difference because it, this side is shiny. Some people call this is a face side. Some people call this is a face side. It doesn't matter. For me, because I want to apply a little bit of uh, pearl sheen to my cake after it's going to be assembled, I'm going to use shiny side or smooth side is my face side. So to make my ruffle, I'm going to take a piece of my wafer paper, roughly two by two inches or five by five centimeters, bumpy side up, so the opposite, my back side up. I'll take my spray bottle with water and I'm going to give it a few spritz of water, just a few. Then I'm going to turn it upside down. So to my face side, my face side, the smooth side it is dry. And I'm going to shape my ruffle, something like this, like this. And then I'm going to place it on my cake. So I'm going to stick it to my piping gel onto my cake, like this. And again, I'm going to spray and I will put it aside to absorb the moisture for a few seconds. Again, two sprays. Then I will take my first one, turn it to my shiny side, shape it a little bit and stick it to my cake and stick it here. 
If your wafer paper doesn't want to stick like this piece, I'm going to spray it again just to soften it a little bit. And then I will put it on my cake. If your wafer paper is soft and pliable, so this piece probably is not soft enough. You should have no problem sticking your wafer paper on a thin layer of piping gel onto your cake. So let's do this again. It doesn't want to stick at first, like the first few applications. Sometimes it doesn't want to stick. Then what you can do, you can use a toothpick, just a regular toothpick, and poke it through your wafer paper and through your cake to uh, make sure that you have something to support your ruffles like I have here. So if I need to, for example, for my first, like my lower level of my ruffles, I usually prefer to use toothpicks on, especially on a real cake, just to make sure it is going to stick. So I will apply a few more centimeters of my piping gel, and then I will work on this ruffles a little bit faster so you can see that it doesn't take a long period of time to make them. For me about four ruffles at a time is my speed so I'm going to squish it, make it fluffy and place it on my cake. And don't be afraid to melt your wafer paper a little bit. I think that it gives just more character and more visual interest to your cakes if your wafer paper is not just flat and looking like a paper. So don't be afraid to create something like this and stick it onto your cake. And if you need to go back and cover some places like I have here, you can definitely do that and you can make your ruffles relatively fast, I would say. And another idea I have about making ruffles, if you want your ruffles to be a little bit softer and sh in shape, what you can do is you can use um, craft punch. So what I have here is uh, five centimeters or two inches regular circle craft punch. This is by Fiskars, I believe, but you can buy in at any craft store and you can do the same. So you can create your shapes. I'll show you a few. So you can cut your circles out of leafy paper using just a craft punch. And then when you're going to soften, again, choose your face side, choose your back side. If your face side is smooth, then spray on your back side. And then when you're going to shape it, you can see that this shape is a little bit more rounded. So it's a little bit softer compared to the one we made with uh, using a square piece of FIFA paper. So this is the one used as square and this is the one with the circle craft punch. So I, I think you can tell the difference. One is more rounded and one is more angular. I think it's up to you. So whatever you prefer and how you prefer your ruffles to be on your cake. Thank you so much for joining me for another tutorial. I hope you like it. Let me know down in the comments below if you would like to try this technique and if you have any questions about wafer paper, you know how to find me. Don't forget to subscribe and like for the YouTube algorithm. It helps me a lot. And I'll see you next week. My name is Anna Stashkina. Bye-bye.